Welcome to Banana News. I'm Ethan, and this is my co-host, Banana the Beta Fish. Isn't it just so nice in the studio today? I'm so glad it's not Flinko lighting. That just wouldn't be any fun. Oh, sorry. Flinko lighting is my new word for this week. Let's see. Here we are. Flinko lighting. To rain and rain and rain and rain and rain and, well, you get the point. Now, next time it's raining all day long, you can look to your parents and say it's Plinko lighting. And they might look a little confused and might give you a funny look, but then you can explain our new word. Now that you know my new word for this week, let's take a look at this week's truth to remember. Have faith in God and follow his instructions. For an update from the Hall of Faith, Let's go to our one and only Nana News. Sometimes life is like a crazy water ride full of rapids, ups and downs. Oh, oh, whoa. And you never know when you're going to get hit in the face with a salmon. Oh, 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 oh. oh. And when we have faith in God and follow his instructions, we will stay afloat. Today, we are going to go to the Hall of Faith chapter with Noah and see what it has to say. Let's look and see. It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. He obeyed God who warned him about things that had never happened before. By his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world, and he received the righteousness that comes by faith. Hebrews 11, 7. Oh, you see, God gave Noah specific instructions that were rather odd. But Noah, he had faith and he followed those instructions from God. Noah survived the largest flood of all times because he had faith. Okay, boys, I think we're done for today. If I have any more rabbits, I think I'll be waterlogged. Huh. What a life. Soy mittens for a crocodile? Sounds like a pretty hard job. You know what else sounds hard? Listen to this. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Genesis 6, 19. Wow, what a job. Could you imagine what it would have been like to gather all of those animals into one boat? I wonder how Noah kept the goats from eating the monkey's bananas. Walkabout Wilson, do you have any idea about how Noah accomplished these instructions given to him? Good night, mates, it's me, Walkabout Wilson, but you, yes, you can call me Willie. So, God told Noah to collect all the animals and put them on the ark. But how many animals? Well, if the animals were unclean, meaning you couldn't eat them, or use them for sacrifices, then the Lord told them to get two. But if the animal was clean, meaning you could use it for food or for sacrifices, or also if there was a bird, then you would get 14 of them. Can you believe it? 14 animals, wow! That is so many when you calculate the 14 and the 14 and the 14 and the two and the two and the two. It's a lot, okay. Now imagine trying to wrangle all those rascally wild creatures onto one big old boat. It's crazy sounding. You know what else is crazy sounding? Well, the fact that I am definitely not a professional. But since I'm not, I decided I'm going to show you exactly how Noah did it. Yeah, I am. All right. So uh, what that means is I'm going to be lining up me a bunch of animals. Are you ready? Me neither. All right, let's go.
chicken. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, no, 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 go the way. I'm gonna get you. Here, chicken, chicken. One, two, perfect. Here, horsey, horsey. Here, horsey. Oh, hello. Will you come with me? Hello. Hi. Hello, hello, horsey. Oh, all right, come on. This way, this way then. All right, let's go. Let's go over here. Good, horsey. Good, no, no. why Willy was having such a hard time lining up his animals. I had mine up and ready to go in no time. Walkabout Wilson may not be a professional, but he sure is hysterical to watch. You know, we should probably see what else we can discover about this man named Noah and how he lived out following God's instructions. Check out this reenactment based off of scripture. Noah. The world has become so wicked. I created them to have life, but they have chosen death instead. It breaks my heart because I love them. It makes me sad that I created them at all. So I am going to cover the whole earth with a flood. And every living creature on Earth will be destroyed. What about us? We love God, and have always walked with Him. Surely He won't kill us. He promised that He will deliver us from the Flood, and that the covenant He made with Adam, He will continue with me and my family. In other words, He is going to destroy everyone else, and begin again with us. How are we going to be saved if the whole earth is flooded with water? We have some work to do. Build yourself an ark made out of gopher wood. Hey, Japheth, can you pass me the hammer? Make lots of rooms inside and seal it to make it waterproof. The ark should be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Leave an opening all around the roof and put a door in the side. Take two of every kind of living creature onto the ark with you. Take two of every bird, two of all livestock and wild animals, and two of all creatures that move on the ground. 
take two of every kind, one male and one female, so that they may be preserved from the flood and start new families. And be sure that you take enough food for both you and the animals. Okay, Dad. We've got all the animals inside. Now we just have to wait. And trust. Brace yourselves! some major Plinko lighting. Even before the Plinko lighting had begun, Noah was following God's instructions. Let's say today's truth together. Have faith in God and follow his instructions. Huh, I must have forgotten something. Let's see. Ethan, open your umbrella. Sincerely, producer Skippy. Well, that's just silly. It's not like it could be Plinko lighting inside. Well, I guess I was warned. Why don't you guys go check in with the teacher while I, uh, go dry off? How many of you have ever gotten a brand new box of Legos and couldn't wait to rip open the box and start building? Have any of you ever tried to build something, I don't know, that looks like maybe, uh, this guy? This bad boy has over 7,500 pieces in it. The instruction book is over 450 pages. Could you imagine trying to put together that monster without instructions? Yikes. No way, definitely not for me. I mean, even with the instructions, it would take like a lot of hard work and concentration to complete it. Well, God asked a man to build a boat way bigger than the Lego Millennium Falcon, and to follow all of his instructions. And today's truth is we can have faith in God and follow his instructions. So let's do it again. We find the true historical record of Noah recorded in the very first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. In the first chapter, we read about when God created the first man, that would be Adam and the first woman, Eve. And Adam and Eve had a lot of children, and then their children went on to have families of their very own. And soon the world was filled with people. But by the time you get to eh, chapter six, there was a big problem. See, over time, the people began to reject God and live really wicked lives. And eventually, most people had totally forgotten about God. Well, as you can imagine, that made God sad. And he became sorry that he even made people. Well, for all of them except for one. There was one man who hadn't forgotten about God and his name was Noah. Noah was a man who loved God. And because of his love for God, he was included in a super special plan. Listen to this from chapter six in Genesis. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. I am going to bring flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens every creature that has the breath of life in it. Everything on earth will perish, but I will establish my covenant with you and you will enter the ark, you and your sons and your wife and your sons' wives with you. Wow. I mean, how amazing is that? 
God told Noah that he was going to destroy all life on earth, but save him and his family. Okay, so God told Noah to build an ark, which is also known as a really, 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 really big boat. Well, what if God had just left it at that and was like, good luck, Noah, hope you figure it out. That would be awful. I mean, it would be like walk about Wilson trying to line up all those animals. Ugh. Or like trying to put together the Millennium Falcon Lego set without instructions. But God, he did give Noah instructions to build the ark. The instructions God gave Noah were really specific. The ark was gonna be made out of cypress wood and coated with tar inside and out. It even had to be a certain height and width and length. God even gave Noah specifics about how many levels to build inside the ark and what type of food to pack and what animals to take. And these instructions God gave Noah it must have seemed strange to him. I mean, Noah wasn't living near any large body of water, but God told him to build a really large boat. And there had never been any floods, but God was telling Noah that the whole earth was gonna be covered with water. Noah was to have every type of animal on the ark, but how was he supposed to do that? As crazy as God's instructions may have sounded, Noah followed them, and he's a great example of today's truth. Have faith in God and follow his instructions. When Noah had finished building the ark, he loaded in all the food, all the animals, and his own family. Then God shut the door, and the rain began to fall. It rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Soon, the earth was covered with water. And then, it stopped. But Noah and his family had to remain on the ark. You see, after it stopped raining, the water continued to rise for 150 days. Then God sent a big wind and the waters began to evaporate. So Noah and the floating zoo had to stay in the ark for several more months while the earth slowly dried out. From when God closed the door until the earth was dry again was one year, one month, and 27 days. Then Noah, his family, and all the animals were finally able to leave the ark. See, because Noah was willing to follow God's instructions, his family was saved from destruction. And you know what? God has a plan for us too. If we are willing to have faith in him and follow his instructions. Hey, wait, where do we find his instructions? Right here in the Bible. You know what? Listen to this verse. God says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Psalm 32, 8. God has given us instructions. Will you have faith and follow them? Well, my hair is dry and I found this spare outfit backstage. It looks like the Plinko lighting has stopped and I'm definitely gonna to try to do a better job at following instructions. So we've seen how God gave Noah instructions, but what about us? I know a guy who's all about taking action. Let's turn it over to the hype commander. I'm guessing you guys weren't expecting to see me this late in the game, but today I wanna to hype you up as we wrap up. That's right, woo! You see, God gave instructions to you and me in His Word, the Bible. He wants us to pick up His Word daily, read about it, and have faith and do it. So this is what, what it might look like. Little brother and sister driving you crazy, and you just want to tell them to go away? Well, God's instruction says, 
Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 So don't be mean. Be kind, even if they're not kind back to you. Have faith in God and follow His instructions. Ah! What if you find your friend's eraser on the ground at school? Your eraser went missing days ago, and you could really use it. You think, your friend probably won't even know it's gone. Well, you better look at God's word. You shall not steal, Exodus 20, 15. Uh-oh, you better pick up that eraser and return it back to your friend. Have faith in God and follow his instructions. Ah! How about if, you're, if a friend is being unkind and all you want to do is be mean back to them? What instruction does God have for that? Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Luke 6, 28. What? Pray for someone who's mean to you? That definitely is different than what we would naturally do. But have faith in God and follow his instructions. Ah! God wants to help you have faith and follow his instructions. With him, you can do it. So shout it out. Have faith in God and follow his instructions. Let's do it! Woo! Wow, I'm so ready to follow God's instructions. It may not always be easy, but I'm glad God has given me his word so I can always double check his instructions for me. Remember, Noah knew God. He spent time with him. So when God asked Noah to follow his instructions, Noah had faith because he knew the character of God. When you trust and believe in God, you too can have faith in God and follow his instructions. Let's spend some time now and talk to God. God, I just thank you for this day. Uh, we thank you that you have a plan for our life. You already know what's going to happen. I just pray that you'll help us have faith in your plan and to follow your instructions, Lord. I uh, just pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it for today's episode of Banana News. From myself, Banana the Beta Fish, and everyone here at BR Kids, we want you to know that God loves you, we love you, and we'll see you next time.